It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be talking about congruent triangles. Here's our question today. Isosceles triangle EFG and one of its angle measures are shown in the diagram. Here's triangle EFG. Triangle RST, not shown, is congruent to triangle EFG. What are the measures? in degrees of the interior angles of triangle RST. We are asked to drag and drop a number into each box to complete the equations. Each number may be used once, more than once, or not at all. So you're given five number choices to pick from, and we need to determine what the measure of angle R is, the measure of angle S, and the measure of angle T from these five answer choices. Here's where I'd like you to pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. Here we have triangle RST, which is not shown, but we're told it's congruent to triangle EFG. So if it's congruent, it's the same size and the same shape. So we're gonna go in the same order. EFG is the name of this triangle, and it will be identical because it's congruent to triangle RST because corresponding angles are congruent. So angle E and angle R are the same, angle F and angle S and angle G and angle T. So triangle EFG is congruent, same size, same shape as RST. So we can use this image to talk about triangle RST. We're now needing to find these angle measurements of angle R, S, and T. So we can see right here, since angle F and angle S are the same, that angle S in triangle RST is going to be 96 degrees. So we're gonna take our 96 and drag it, and there we have the measure of angle S. Now we need to find the measures of angle R and angle T. We are told that this is an isosceles triangle, telling us that two sides are congruent. If these two sides are congruent, that means these two angles are also congruent. So they have one pair of congruent sides and one pair of congruent angles. So seeing as we know that all three interior angles of a triangle have a sum of 180 degrees, let's take away the angle that we know. 180 degrees subtract 96 degrees gives us 84 degrees. So we know that angle R and angle T added together need to have a sum of 84 degrees. So if they are equal, if I divide 84 by 2, 84 divided by 2 is 42, then I know that angle R is 42 degrees and angle T is 42 degrees, and I can drag my 42 into measure of angle R and the measure of angle T. So there you have it, 42 degrees for measures angles R and T, and angle S was given as 96 degrees. Corresponding angles of congruent triangles are congruent. And there you have it. That are all we have for today about congruent triangles. Thanks for joining me at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and that you come back soon.